Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Serial Cesspool. And today we have a, um, probably one of the biggest episodes we'll ever have. We'll have, we have the, um, the famous Sour Patch Kids cereal today, and whew, whew, has this, this been a big episode in the making. All the other stuff has been, you know, kind of, we've had some highs, we've had some lows, we've had, but for the most part they've been consistent, like, I can see how this is a cereal. This, however, is our biggest weird cereal, and shout out to Charlotte Fierro for recommending this cereal. Um, if you would like to see me eat a cereal, you can recommend one in the comments below and I'll get to it. But, um, yeah, I'm just, it doesn't seem like something that should exist, you know? Sour Patch Kids are good candy. I like them as a candy. I would never want to eat them in a hardened cereal form. So, why did they have to make this? I don't know. But it's here. I'm gonna have to try it. Um, it just, it, I'm almost at a loss for words. At how to describe this. Um, it, on the side, it mocks you with the other terrifying brand fla flavors they've made of Oreo O's, Nutter Butter, Chips Ahoy, and Vanilla Wafer. Um, it's just all of those seem like better options than this. And on the back, they have a, a Mad Libs thing. I don't even care to do it. Um, also, fun thing with this, I was originally going to have this ready for National Cereal Day, which is March 7th. Um, and I was, gonna be, I was like, great, I ordered this at the beginning of February. I just got it in the middle of March, so it has taken a while. Uh, mainly, you know, it's discontinued, so I couldn't actually get it at a store. I, I paid like 20 bucks on eBay for this. Way too much. I do not make any money off this channel. This is literally just the most negative cash impact I've ever had in my life. Uh, and when I get here, I, I realized it's expired. February 6, 2020. So hopefully I'm not going to die or get food poisoning or something. Presumably it'll just be like stale. So either cereal, either when it gets stale, either it gets like softer to chew or harder to chew. One of the two. But shockingly, I really don't think it being expired will probably have that much of an overall effect on my opinion. So I'm stalling, but without further ado, let's just, let's just get into this cereal, man. Oh, I should mention, I do believe this is slightly a collector's item now, hence why it was like 20 bucks to buy. So, um, I'm literally just destroying the value by eating this, and I'm not going to be able to resell it afterwards, a partially eaten cereal. So, I do this for you. Just, this shows how much I love you guys. Um, the fact that I am eating this. Oh, wow. This is, I mean, I really want to get a good look at this. This is a very filled up bag, and I do not like what I am seeing. They... These are very, <laughs> very bright. Um, I guess you can see the Sour Patch Kids shape. They are, I can, I can smell them a little bit through the bag. It's, it's just a lot to look at visually. Like I know there are some cereals like Fruit Loops and stuff, but it's just, this just feels brighter and like more to look at visually. So let's, you know, let's just hop into this. Let's, th there's no use in installing. It's already here. I've ordered it. I've spent money on it. We got to get into this. Oh no. Oh, 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 oh no, that smell. That is not what I wanted to smell. You know what? This is a good visual metaphor for what's going on here. I'm gonna wrap it up. Oh wow. Mmm. That's a. That's. A, oh god. Whew. It is a very strong fruit smell. Oh, it, <laughs> it does not even smell like Sour Patch. It smells like friggin' office cleaning detergent. Like, very heavy stuff they put in office or airport bathrooms. But, uh, Jesus. I'm just looking at it. I poured myself a small bowl. Because I'm gonna try to take it on myself at least a little bit easy. Um, clearly, not that much, though. I'm sitting right here already. So, <sighs> there's no use just delaying the email. It's just staring at it. And smelling it, it's like, oh, this is a real cereal. And, like, obviously, I don't think I'm going to die or anything. But I like, you know, I hot take, I like food. Um, and I like good-tasting food. I've gotten, you know, in the in the pandemic, I've gotten into cooking more. I, you know, I've gotten into, you know, marinating stuff or trying new recipes. And I've really, I've been trying to be better about that. So to just go so deep down and get a Sour Patch Kids cereal, I feel like that just, like, spits in the face of everything I've been trying to do in self-improvement. But you know what? Maybe I'm just looking for too into this. Maybe this is actually going to be the best cereal I've ever had. Sure, it <laughs> it is just a product brand thing that was basically made just to sell because, oh, hey, people will try this, and I'm falling into that corporate capitalist scheme. Sure, 
It's a gummy, a sour gummy that got turned into a cereal. But maybe against all odds, it's going to be good, you know? So let's give it a try. Oh, God. Oh, no. Mmm. Oh, this is... Oh, no. No. Oh, oh no. This, this is... Oh, that's actually terrible. That is... Oh, oh no. That's literally... Oh. I didn't think it was going to be that bad. That is one of the worst cereals... I've ever tasted in my life. It, uh, oh, oh God. It's like, oh, the taste is very much lingering. It's really not sour until now, a little bit after, but the, oh, I, okay. So before the staleness definitely affects it because it was like kind of rock hard almost. Um, so that wasn't great, but the flavor is so bad. I cannot, I cannot express how bad the flavor was. It was like, it was that intense, you know, cleaning supply spray, just fruit, artificial flavor boosted times 10, but like it was partially sour, partially not it. Ooh. Ooh. And then just the, the wet and the crunch, it, you would never expect that flavor from something that crunches, but I got, I have to have more. Just, ugh. Oh, this is not, this is not even a bit. Sometimes I'll like over exaggerate a little bit. Like, you know, be like, oh, it's way worse than it. <laughs> this is. The worst cereal I have ever had. Mmm. Mmm. No. <laughs> no, it's so bad. Oh, God, that's awful. Oh, mmm. It's so artificial. It, I don't even know how to describe it. It's just so bad. Um... Oof. Oof. Oh, it's not good. It's not. Mm, mm, mm. It's. It. Okay. I'm. It tastes like you were you were going to eat some some fruit, except the fruit was old, so it was it was getting sour, but it's not like sour as in like a sour crystal or like a, a good sour. It's just like, it just kind of makes you uh, tenses up, as well as imagine instead of biting into the fruit and it being juicy and sour. It was also very crunchy. And as well as imagine that, it was there, was, there was a faint hint of Febreze. Like it was dunked in Febreze, and then you took a bite of a sour apple um, that was expired, and then the, hour, the apple was crunchy. That's the best way I can explain this. Except remove any of the owl, apple flavor. But it's, it's sour and expired and plasticky and just so bad. It, I don't know. It feels like it like curdles in your mouth. There's like... A film in my mouth, I feel like, after eating even just two bites. <coughs> oh, oh god. Oh. Oh. Mm. Oh no. Oh. I, it's gotta be the. I think it might be the yellow ones that are the worst, but also the most flavorful. It gets so much worse when it's soggy. When, when there is actual milk in it, it is so much worse because it's like, it's heavy. There's some weight to it and just, mm, the, I don't want to say sour juice because I don't like how that sounds at all, but the milk makes it turn into like a sour juice, the, uh, uh the sour milk. It just, uh, who, why did we do this? What, as a society, why did we allow this to come to fruition, to allow it to happen? Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. Each bite I take, it's hard. It's harder to keep it down. <laughs> um. Uh, uh, oh. I feel like it's frying my brain in real time. Just like the sour is melting. Maybe that's how they do it. I'm. It's, this is gonna be some like. Friggin' Junji Ito story where eventually, like, the end of the video, I'll start becoming a Sour Patch Kid, and that's, like, how they get you. Oh, man, I was, oh, I expected it to be bad, but this is, oh, this is so much worse than I thought it would be. I feel like it's literally draining my energy. Like, compare me now to me at the beginning of the video, and, like, oh, God, it is, 
not good. But I, I feel I don't have to finish it. I know that I don't. I could edit it or I could be like, well, here's the end. But I feel like I need to eat more at least. Hold on, let me there okay, so I, I looked at some reviews. Um and there was a whole range of different stuff. Some people saying it was disgusting, some people saying it was the best they've ever had. One person who um complained that their sour patch cereal was sour. So I don't even know what's going on with them, but I, there was a common theme that, hey, the cereal isn't always the best, but it is a good little snack. Just dry. So let me, let's test those theories. Mm, oh, oh no. Oh, there's so much worse. Oh God. What? That was, how do people enjoy this? That was so much worse. Like, geez, I can't believe I'm going to, what? Oh, no. Oh, it's not going to show up on the camera. The, like, sour sugar crystals are separating in the milk. So it's separated in the spoon, and I can see the distinct difference, and I don't like that one bit. Hold on, I need to, for science, though, I need to compare this. Because the dry tasted just so much worse. Mm. Yeah, it's uh, with. Mm, uh, I I am losing the ability to string together a coherent sentence, but this is definitely better than having it dry. I need to. I mean, probably. <coughs> oh God, <coughs> the flavor's coming <laughs> back in my throat. Oh God, this is uh, this is the most physical effort I've ever gone through in a video just to stomach this. Um. <laughs> So, oh, oh, oh no. All right, I need to try it without the yellows because my theory is that the yellow, because there's a strong like lemon Febreze uh, cleaning agent in it taste. So I'm going to try both without the lemon and see how that fares. Okay, so <laughs> that was nowhere near good, but it was definitely less terrible. Um, it was less flavorful, but it was less terrible. I'm going to try this. No friggin' lemon or orange, just to, just to be safe. No citrus. This is, this is a no citrus area. You see this orange? No citrus area. You just get them out of here. Mmm. No. Mmm. No, that's still not good. I, maybe it's, Jesus, I'm going to have to try a yellow on its own. Maybe it's slightly better, but it's not good dry. It is really, it does not taste like a sour patch at all. It tastes like, like, not even sour, just like, yo, so my camera died, which is how I feel on the inside. So I, um, I'm realizing that's probably a sign from, from God to, that I can be free. Um, but I am not taking that sign just yet, so... This is what, oh God, you can see it. I hope this shows up on camera. You can see it kind of around this area. The, it's separating. The, the sugar salt crystals are separating and it just makes the milk look rotten almost or like, cra it looks like there are cracks. I don't know if you can see this from the camera. It looks like there are cracks in, in the fabric of the milk like some friggin' sci-fi stuff, and it looks garbage. And um, I, I need to just try some lemon on its own because the, the strongest flavor I'm constantly getting is that of a, a lemon cleaning agent from a, a hotel or an office or an airport or just... It's, it's such a distinct thing where... Oh, I can smell it. I, <laughs> ooh, ooh, that's not good. That is not, ta that is not tasty smelling. Um, but it's, it's the kind you know. Anybody who has ever smelt it, you know exactly the kind that I'm talking about, so... See if we found the real culprit here. Oh, oh god! Instantly, mm. Inst <coughs> instantly, um, yeah, that's the problem. This is just so bad. I think the fact that I had to transfer from my my uh, good camera, the uh, my record. There it is. Wow, nice camera over there. Um, my good camera to my phone. Um, and that I don't even want to be making this. Um, I think it's all lining up to tell me that I should probably stop, but I am still glad that I made this because 
please don't ever make the mistake I did. This friggin' this Sour Patch cereal is not something anybody ever needs to get as like, oh, we'll get it, we'll get it as a bit, or we'll, we'll, it'll be fun, or maybe collect, no, it's god awful. It is the worst cereal I've ever had. Like even like boring, he like healthy cereals, like grape nuts, and like I had this one like Muscel Swiss Muscelli or something that I think you're supposed to do something else with. I don't know. I've never had a cereal this terrible. Like, <laughs> I, I can feel my stomach and it hates me right now. Uh, it definitely is not, this is not gonna settle well in the old stomach later on. So it's, um, this is not something you should get. I have this much left. I still have like multiple cereals left from the past few episodes, just cause it's like, why would I ever eat a Dunkin' Donuts caramel macchiato cereal again? Why in the world would I ever eat this if not just to torture, you know, people that I know, like my friends and stuff like that. But I don't even want to do that to me. It's just, it's that bad that I, I don't want to give it to anyone. I don't want, this is by far the worst, <laughs> the worst seal I have had on here. Um, it is just, it is rough to handle. And I think even if it weren't expired by over a year, it still would be very rough on me. In fact, maybe more so, because maybe the flavor would be more potent. So maybe uh, this was something that was good. That it was that, that I don't I don't know man but um ugh, that <laughs> yeah I hey this just proves that if you guys recommend me cereals I will get them I will spend too much money on them and I will not enjoy them but I will do it for you because you are the ones keeping this channel alive um, I mean I'm glad I do that I did this you know cross it off the bucket list I feel like this is what really validates this is a series now the fact that I did the infamous Sour Patch Kids here it just it doesn't even look good it's just bright and mushy. So, uh, you know what? I'll do one last bite for the road, but genuinely thank you for letting me do these weird, stupid cereal videos uh, and watching them. Uh, so yeah, I would love to keep doing them. You know, keep hitting me with recommendations, but do not, for the love of God, do not eat the cereal. It is terrible. I hate it. Oh God, I need to drink the milk. I, I, I gotta do it. I mean, I just, I'll do it for you guys. Um, one last bite just to see what we're doing. I keep getting sidetracked, but I can feel it like curdling back, the flavor like returning from the depths on the back of my tongue and I hate it. I do not like it at all. But one last bite. Oh, mm. oh, mm. earth. Mm. Okay, what the, hold on. I gotta, I gotta switch angles. What the heck is this? There's like a, there actually is like a layer of film forming over the milk. This is freaking disgusting. It's like, I just watched Troll 2 this morning. Incredible movie. Go watch that. But this is what the freaking food from Nilbog looks like. This is what the, that's what this is. This is the freaking Nilbog milk right here. Um, so if I don't turn into, uh, this is freaking Nilbog milk right here, though. So if I drink this and turn into a weird plant monster, you guys just gotta, like, you just remember me, I guess. But, um, I can't not drink it. It. I forgot to do it in the Caramel Macchiato one. Literally just forgot. That probably would have been an important part because it's like, you know, oh, the coffee, whatever. So I gotta do it here. Uh, man, I, I dreaded making this video. I am dreading this milk so much more. It just looks nasty. Oh, and the spoon's falling in. There we go. Um, God, I can't even think of any jokes. Oh, God. Do not want to get my hair in the milk. That would be terrible. Yes, I almost did just throw up there, if that's what you're wondering. Ooh. That was a bad idea. It doesn't even, like, taste sour. Or it, it still is, like, the consistency of milk. And it doesn't taste that sour or fruity or anything. But it went down very poorly. It ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh... Wow. I had like the slightest bit and it's just like, oh no, it's not feeling good. 
it just hits you like a brick. It's like, you know when you eat like a Twinkie or something and you can feel how much sugar it is in there is? It's the same feeling, but instead of like, oh, tasty sugar, it's like just pure concentrated, like bad for you feeling. And it was like slightly thicker than regular milk. And there, the fact that there was not that much flavor difference, but it definitely didn't taste like milk does not help. So I think I'm going to end this video here before I legitimately throw up because I was very close that last time. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching and keeping up with my stupid antics. Um, don't ever buy, just, just get, get it out of here. Don't ever buy that. It's, it's hot garbage. It is the worst video I've ever had. And, um, thanks again, Charlotte Fiora for recommending this. I, <laughs> you know what? It made good content, so I can't even be mad, but, uh, just let this serve as your warning, everyone, because, oof. You don't want to go through this. I could not legitimately imagine someone trying to eat this and then start their day. Like, how do you are like, oh, yes, mm, Sour Patch Kids, and then I'll go off to a day of the job at the high school or the work. Um, I would just die. I would literally just like, by, by third period coming around, I just I would just croak. So, uh, yeah, um, please <laughs> just, um, I, I don't even know at this point. I'm losing my mind. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this. Uh, remember, recommend me cereals in the comments, so it'll be a great time. Um, yeah, if you want to follow me on Twitter, that'll be in the description so you can uh, tell me how weak I am for, you know, oh, I eat this cereal every day and I'm 5,000 pounds weightlifter. Good for you. I am, I, am, I am a weak, I am a weak mortal who cannot handle <laughs> Sour Patch cereal. So yeah, um, but generally that's why I just post updates and stuff and uh, just random stupid stuff. So yeah, and subscribe if you want to see more like this. That's it. So until next time, thank you for watching me eat this god awful cereal. And just one more bite to the road. Oh, wow. This, here's a good close up and just how bad it looks. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. And until next time, goodbye.